I want to make a point about how musicians are perceived today based on their quality and what the difference between art and music is in that go up to someone go up to say let's just hypothesize that not hypothesis what is the word metaphorically represent this and say what if we went up to Van Halen he's still alive Van Halen and we go up to him and we ask him to play a G chord and we have a whole bunch of people I mean, yes, and play a G. So people were like, yeah, or, or that, or, you know, any of the other variants. Play a G major. Those are the notes it takes to play a G. Well, let's say Van Halen's like, you know, <laughs> just something ridiculous. It's probably not that funny. I laugh at myself, get over it. Anyway, so the whole point is, is that you can always overcomplicate something in music. The hard part is giving somebody an instrument who's never played one before and telling them to play a G. And they don't know what a G even is. They don't know how many notes it takes. They don't know what a G evolves into in a chord progression. They don't even know what a chord progression is. And so that's kind of what an artist is. They, they take all these notes, they have the instrument, and then they're finding just enough to create a piece of music. And you can always overcomplicate music. You can always add, if I had five fingers, let's say, you know, so I can do like that, right? I have an extra finger now. I can put this anywhere. But is it going to be a G chord? No, it's not. That was the whole point of Mozart, is that he would write just enough. And that's, he, he saw his music that if he ever changed one thing or did something a little different. And of course, he wrote a lot of variations. Wow, fucking tons of variations. But Beethoven, if you change one thing, the whole piece changes because he wrote just enough to have, say, a G chord. That once you took one note away, it was a different variation of a G chord. And that is the philosophy of art and composition and how I try to write versus trying to be a Van Halen. I don't wanna be a Van Halen. I don't see the point in demonstrating that I have all this technical aptitude and ability. While I do, I can always overcomplicate something. It's just, no different than a drummer. You look at somebody like Joey Jordanson, he overcomplicated everything, but as soon as you start taking out fills, his music changes. So he was able to overcomplicate to the point that that is how his music was. Versus Neil Peart, he was a very spot on and wrote everything to be an experience explicit way while Joey Jordanson's work you could probably change things a little bit and still get the same effect of the music but with Neil Perry you start changing fills the accents are to very explicit parts of music and that changes the songs so to anybody who wants to be an artist on guitar you're gonna get a lot of hate from people but you just have to remember that even if you write a song that is just but that's simple but that's as much as it needed to be for the point that you're trying to make with that song and then you can write blue finger and you're like I can't play blue finger with a phone in my hand, but blue finger too. You know, it, it's extremely complicated and difficult to play. However, if you start removing things, it's not the same piece of music. So you want to find those notes and those chords, even if they are more complicated, that once you remove one, the whole piece changes. 
and it takes you in a different direction from the next chord. And then if you put that finger back, then it takes you right back to that original direction. And that is, that is real music. That's, that's, that's art, that's composition. That's what it means to be somebody like me.